there. We'll have another update later for us in the show. But right now we're heading to Pateras, actually Alta Lake, the live location of reporter Chris Luther. He has a story about Pateras High School. Chris, we understand that that is a very important building out there for so many folks that are affected by this fire. Dylan, it's basically ground zero for the relief effort. I'm here in Alta Lake right now. We have a dramatic scene behind me. The Peterson family just got here and saw what happened to their home during this fire. This is a home they've had for seven years and much of which they've built themselves. And it's been a dramatic scene to watch them shed tears over what they've seen here. And these people wondering why, why is my home burned to the ground while the one right next door to it is standing unscathed, possibly why the low Local paper has a headline today that says this is hell, but even in hell we've been able to find some real life angels. The scene in this neighborhood looks pretty bad, but it could have been much worse if Augustine Morales didn't jump into action. We just started to put the hoses out and spray some water into the fire and trying to help a little bit. With no firefighters in sight, Augustine and a friend used a hose system on the back of their truck to battle back flames that reached over his head. Everything went through my mind because I have my kids and I have to take care of my kids and I'm just thinking if you ain't dying, I don't know what's gonna happen. Not only did every home Augustine helped protect miss the huge flames by feet, but he helped to save something perhaps even more important to the community, the high school. This is the heart of the community. That's this school district, and it's not just the high school, this is the entire school. This is K through 12. Now the school has turned into a place where the community can heal with mountains of food, gyms filled with clothes, and more water bottles than you can count. This is our silver lining. This tells you what this community is, what the communities around us are, because it's not just our community. People are coming from all over. Knowing that he made a difference is the only praise Augustine needs for his courageous act. Because I, I know they can save some, something, something important to, for everybody, for the kids and the kids' future. Stories like that give you hope, and seeing the high school, that's something that can give everyone around this area hope. Volunteers say they have, they have donations just flooding in. They don't even know what to do with all of them. And if they have extra, they're going to donate them to other ravaged communities around Washington State. Dylan, back to you. Oh, thanks, Chris. Quite the uh, resilient community out there. We're tracking another large brush fire in 